Speaker, at this time it gives me great pleasure to uh, yield three and a half minutes to my good friend Lois Frankel of Florida, co-author of this important piece of legislation. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Connolly, and of course uh, to the chair of our committee for, for his fine work and our ranking member. Um, Mr. Speaker, as, as we've heard already, human trafficking is a global crisis of epic proportions. An estimated 12 to 20 million men and women around the world are being subject to slavery of some sort. In fact, it's the number two crime, criminal enterprise on earth. And I have seen the effects of, of, of this human trafficking up close. Uh, I wanted, Mr. Speaker, talk about a couple of visits I made when I went to Peru. I went to a couple of shelters there, uh, with, which, were, which were now the homes of young girls who had been trafficked. The first, the first one I went to, there were girls in their mid-teens uh, who had been raised in families that were very, very poor. Their families were approached by these traffickers who told them they would take their children, take their daughters to the quote-unquote the promised land. They were going to take them to a, an area in Peru where they would be educated, well-fed, well-nurtured, and what they really ended up doing is taking these young girls and uh, basically enslaving them. They found themselves in people's homes where they would be locked up literally f for years. And from the time the sun came up to the time the sun went down, these children told their stories of having to, for example, peel potatoes, peel potatoes, day and night. No education, no mingling with their peers, just deprived of the joy of childhood. At another, ch at another shelter we went to, we visited young girls again who had been saved from their slavery. They had been kidnapped off the streets. They, they were now teenagers. They had, when they were 10, 9 and 10 and 11, I mean, it's just, it was hard for me to hear these stories. I'm sure it'll be hard for you to hear these stories. But at, when they were preteens, they were kidnapped off the streets. Some of them were locked in trunks. They were beaten. They were forced in submission to become sex slaves to minors. Again, children deprived of their education, deprived of their innocence. I not only haunted when I think back of them, of them I, I'm haunted, I remember looking in their eyes, looking in their eyes and saying to myself, how could this happen? How in, in our civilization do we let this happen to innocent children? When I returned home to the United States, I heard another story. I heard a story from a young woman named, may I have some more time? I yield the gentlelady another uh, one minute. Okay. Gentlelady's recognized. Thank you. I heard a story from a young woman named Shonda who had been, uh, had a work visa to come over here from Indonesia to work in a hotel. On her way over, she was kidnapped by traffickers and forced into commercial sex slavery for two to three years on the I-95 corridor. And the way she escaped was through a bathroom window. So I, I want to just say thank you, Mr. Royce, for letting me have an opportunity to join you in this legislation, which is going to target these sex and labor traffickers uh, give a powerful tool to stop what we call modern day slavery. I'm a, I am very proud to support the Target Act. 